all right so hi guys uh welcome to my channel again i'm greedy trader uh thank you very much guys for tuning in so in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to set up your charts for uh, how to set up your footprint charts for sierra charts okay so if you're a sierra charts user and you want to know how you set up footprint charts i'm going to be showing you exactly how to do that on this video so uh stay tuned all right so step <coughs> sorry so step one um how do you set up uh your footprint charts for sierra all right so step one uh you first want to go so um right now you you, you first want to adjust your chart settings okay so this is probably really crucial to do in the beginning so first and foremost you want to go to chart settings right and then you want to change the display so normally it's like default so right now it's showing me five um five decimal places i want to drop that to four and i also want to drop my tick size to four so um i don't get a re really extended um footprint chart like this for example so this is a chart of cable gpp usd um so if you're a forex trader and you're like, trying to learn how to use volume and stuff like that then footprint charts are going to be pretty handy for you and they'll really give you an edge in your trading if you're a futures trader you probably already know about these and if you are a uh, equities trader you probably also know about these but again if you don't this is a very good uh, video to watch because then you can start learning how to use these set these up and so on i will do another video on how to use footprint charts but for now this is just how you set that up on sierra charts all right so once i've done this i'm going to um so i've put the tick size in i'm just going to hit ok and uh, it's going to load right so i'm going to go through a loading phase right now where the chart loads so give this some time obviously it normally does take some time to load all right so great so the chart is actually loaded now uh so it will look something like this okay don't worry about it just hit control on your keyboard click your left mouse and then just pull that in on the scale okay so just make sure your mouse sitting on the scale and you can move that scale by using control on the keyboard and then you can just move that around to suit so as you can see and um, this is kind of giving my um, footprint chart a sensible range okay so now I want to get into the meat of things so I'm gonna now go to studies okay so imagine this wasn't added there I've already done my footprint chart but if I go to studies I will be looking for the number bars um, study so I first want to do that which is this one here and I want to add that to my studies to graph okay so once I've added that I want to go and now find it and select it in this case I'm selecting number bars here and then I want to go to settings right and then I want to adjust the range okay so well, I want to put in a few things so first I want to do a uh, number bars text okay so that's the text here um, I want that bid volume times ask volume there are a few options so if I click on that I'll be able to select that right down here okay and then I will my next step is I want to do ask stroke bid volume split profile okay so basically I by split profile I don't want everything to be on one profile I want one to be on the left one to be on the right all right so again the coloring method right I want it to be based on separate ask and bid volume so essentially I want the bid volume to have one color and I want the ask volume to have one color okay so that's why I'm separating it so that one's on one side one's on the next all right so text coloring method none I don't want to color my text at all so that's fine not an issue right so now I want to fill in the other bits okay so range zero is eff effectively the lowest volume range one is kind of uh, semi low this is kind of medium and this is kind of high so I want to color it accordingly something like a heat map so I'm using blue in this case for the offer and red for the bid all right so the bid um the weaker the bid the lighter the color the stronger the bid the darker the color okay and so on and so for same for the offer the lighter the offer um the color will be light and the light and the stronger the offer the color will be dark okay so now that i've set that um a uh, number bars text um i don't i don't have a column two so i don't want to worry about that at all full background non-transparent just make sure everything stays pretty much the way it is um and i don't want to change that as well hold on uh based on separate so yeah so if you if you if you don't click off if you did just what i did there then you're gonna have uh some issues based on so that's where we should be here all right so that should be okay 
good stuff. So now <coughs> I have uh, adjusted this so it's all set and good to go. I should have actually highlighted here now that I've moved it that you're looking for essentially so you're going to see a lot on the list um non-transparent etc etc you can play around with these um by percentage and so on but really what i'm looking for is the one down here which is based on separate ask bid volume actual okay so that's what i'm looking for and if i click apply then that should be applied to the footprint chart all right so now that that's done I can then click OK and we're good to go. So that should apply to the footprint chart. Now the next step is I want to add number bars calculated value. So if I take this and I add it to that and that gives me my delta volume. Okay. And then obviously you can add normal volume here if you want. Right. But uh, delta volume would immediately sync itself with the footprint chart. So I want to add that there. Um, so number bus calculated values and then go to settings. Right. And then I can, I want to leave everything the way it is. The heat map here is perfect. You don't want to change anything. It's very similar. So there's nothing here I want to add. Just make sure everything is selected as you see here. And everything is selected as you see here and then you're normally good to go just click OK and that should give you a delta volume immediately right so you should be able to see what goes on in another video I'll show you exactly how to use delta volume okay as along with the footprint charts but I'm not going to do that right here now what I like about footprint charts is that you can actually see um, where traders get overloaded and then you can plan your trades around that so in another video I'm going to show you exactly how you do that and it's a really crucial part to knowing if a market's going to break down or it's not for example and we'll talk through some of those now just a point in case here I do have a uh, Udemy course on footprint charts okay so there's, if you go to the description link below you'll be able to see that so it's a full course that covers everything you know need to know about footprint charts okay so again if you are looking to start using this in your trading your NFX trader your futures trader or your equities trader and you want to start using footprint charts maybe never used it before or you're thinking you need some more information on this then you should check out the course okay it's pretty cheap it's Udemy and you should be able to get all the information that you need awesome stuff guys well thanks again for watching any questions uh leave them for me in the comments uh don't forget to subscribe to the channel that's what's going to keep things going and don't forget to smash the like button and also if you uh will leave a comment and you don't see it show up don't worry it's just the comments are helpful review and that just helps me filter out some of the spammers okay so again don't worry i will respond to your comment it will show up eventually on the youtube page um but then obviously I am if you got any questions directly, then you can always contact me via the Discord link, which is also in the description link below. Um you can contact me by any means that you want. Anyway, awesome stuff, guys. Uh you have fun and thanks very much for watching this video. Uh any questions, let me know.